Give us the download. Is this really a game changer here? Well, uh, the design is certainly really interesting. It uses some different uh, uh, materials in, in silicon germanium. Both chips of the thinnest levels, those made by Intel, uh, are made uh, in, indeed uh, entirely of silicon. Uh, and also the way that these are going to be made uh, is different than uh, some of the cutting edge uh, chips coming out of Intel, for example. And, and those indeed are, are using this extreme ultraviolet for the masking, which is essentially the, the cutting into the chip to let the transistors happen. And the combination of those technologies have yielded at least a test sample of a chip that uh, works at a smaller, faster level like no other. So could we see this in everything, every computer? Pro well, first of all, silicon germanium is nothing new. Let's not get like crazy about the usage of, the, of this technology. Indeed, if you go through SEC filings, as I did today, you, you can find you know, nearly a dozen companies that are using silicon germanium already in their chip making process. What, what IBM is trying to demonstrate here with the consortium that's developed this is a thinner, faster usage of silicon germanium. And indeed, as I mentioned, using this new way of masking and the combination of that. But they've got a long way to go to, to prove its cost and All the right. efficacy of making it, that only at that point will it be something that's really groundbreaking.